It was about few years back. I had very extraordinary dream. And this could be the first time I'm saying this in public. And in a few minutes, you will know how yesterday, whatever happened, is so much connected to what I'm saying now. So this is very significant. The dream that I had, for a few days I couldn't even share it with my wife. Because it was so clear and it was very specific and there was a word. And it shocked me. This is the dream that I had. I saw a newspaper report in the dream. And there was a picture of a man of God that I have come to respect a lot. And top of the picture were these words. Reynard Bonke passed away. These were the words. But I, as I looked on the newspaper, underneath the picture there was another line. And the line was this now this is your time. Amen. So two words. Reynard Bonke passed away. Now this is your time. Amen. I didn't say this to anybody. I kept it in my heart. And then I was in Dallas. And I happened to meet a prophet who at that point of time was the one of the key prophets. If some of you know the prophet Samachan from Kerala. This was a man who brought Samachan into the ministry. Very powerful prophet who is now stationed in Dallas. But while he was praying for me, he said these words. After the time of Reynard Monkey, the same thing that I saw in the dream. Your ministry is going to take over Africa. Jesus name. It will be so powerful Jesus name. that Africa will see a mighty move. Amen. That is second time. But since then, in the last few years, prophets after prophets started to reveal this and repeat this. This is happening across the globe. Any place that I go, somebody will come and say the same prophecy. To the extent, recently I was in Australia. And I hid my identity while I spoke to a prophet that I've never seen before. I don't even know who this man is. He doesn't even know me. It is on the phone. Doesn't even know who I am, and I hid my identity. I didn't even say I'm from Canada. Even didn't say my name. I just said Samuel, which is a very common name. So initially asked me, are you, you know, normally they'll ask me, are you saved? Are you born again? And that's where the conversation started. At least a prophetic, you know, prayer started. And then he said, started saying, I see a leader. And then suddenly he said, I see the face of Reynard Monke. Fading away, and then that face coming upon you. Amen. This was happening wherever I'm going, and I didn't tell. I shared sometimes with Pastor Day. Few of our people know this, but just now, as I was about to leave my hotel, I got the news: Pastor Reynard Monke passed away in the last few hours, and. I believe God's word is true. And the word was, after he passes away, you're entering into something big. I don't even know what to make of it. Honestly, when I heard the news, I was frozen for a few minutes. And I left Pastor Dale and went into my room and I knelt down. Because I don't even know what to make of it. But I cannot deny the prophecies that have been spoken over and over again. I think I have even shared with Pastor Elias some of the prophecies. I got recorded. So I am standing on the brink of something extraordinary. And when I say that God has spoken to me, I want to capture in that prophecy every one of you that's connected to this journey. Amen. And I'm here to declare, Jesus. we are entering the most powerful, greatest season of our ministry.
Can you put your hands together as we make this moment a moment of historic proportion? Come on, put your hands together. Give the Lord a praise in the house. I believe ten thousands will be healed. Amen. I believe millions will be saved. I believe the dead are going to be raised. I believe nations of the world will bow before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. If you can believe with me and if you believe that you're going to be part of this move, make a noise in the house of the Lord because it is time. But how do we go? What do we make out of it? I didn't have you know, lightning and thunder come, come upon me or come over me. But my heart is still pounding. And I was telling Pastor Dale, even I'm going to this, you know, meeting. In fact, let me make a comment. You know, I know churches, they put on, you know, programs and, and, and beautiful moments that we all can cherish. But what makes this different? Different. And I truly salute Pastor Elias and his leadership. Amen. You know, I need to understand, Pastor, there are churches in Canada that put on protections where you have to take a ticket to go and watch them. They're extraordinary in its, in its uh, what do you call, skills and the integrity of how they kind of harmonize everything. It's very much something that appeals to our, our taste. But what makes this different? is the fact that I don't know any ministry that can accumulate, gather, or bring together different languages, different culture, different churches, different programs, representing nations. This is unique. So please do not, I, I get to see programs. So do not just, you know, reduce this to the to a common thing. This is not what, you know, you might think. Some of you are just moving around and a program is happening. I tell you, this is, you know, on top of this and over this is written in bold letters, in neon lights of heaven, wow. that this is God's doing. Amen. Only God could have done this. So many nations and people coming together. So can I ask you, with tremendous humility but forceful, you know, you know, appeal. Can you put your hands together for nations and churches and cultures coming together under one roof? Thank you. Thank you. So on the platform of what I just mentioned, let me give you this word. And I thank God because even the singing captured that line. I was praying before the Lord for the next year, 2020. And you know, the word that God gave us, we are going to have an entrance. What manner of entrance? And now we know what manner it is. It's an entrance that will be so powerful, you know, punctuated with supernatural things throughout. Even our reportings are going to change. Amen. I thank God for the statistics that we have, and that will continue, but it will go beyond statistics. There will be reports and pictures of some of the greatest miracles that earth has ever seen by the power of the Holy Spirit. Can I get a witness in the house of the Lord? I believe it. I strongly believe it. Pastor, we'll have to start preparing ourselves to embrace that truth. Can a nation be born in one day? Can ministries be born in one day? Yes. Can ten thousands be saved in one day? Yes. I believe it is possible. Yes. I strongly believe that. I have no qualms about admitting it. But here is what I want you to listen to. Can I ask you to give me your, you know, an orientation which is supernatural. And give you a proclivity to receive what I'm about to say. So listen carefully. I was waiting before the Lord for the year 2020. And the word that God has given 
for our ministry Tammy, for 2020 are these words. The year of 2020 shall be a year of supernatural witnessing. mandatory kind of an insertion at this point of time but can I at least ask few of our people that carry the weight of this ministry as we see this word from the Lord to stand and give a reverential ovation to the Lord the year of supernatural church and the ministry is built on two ministries, offices, the apostle and the prophet. And whenever that foundation is secure, nations are changed. Amen. The power of God released. Amen. You know, people tell me that the prison doors in Philippi open because somebody sang. Somebody sang songs or somebody praised God, Paul and Silas. That's the reason the doors open. But I have a different opinion about it. I believe the door opened because an apostle Paul and a prophet Silas came together. Because when the church foundation comes together, the demonic foundation should be Come on, can I get a witness here? When they... Come on, can I... Did you hear that? When the, when the church foundations come together in any country, the foundations of Satan that have been going on for generations will shake. So what happened in that place when the apostle and the prophet came together fulfilling the demand of the kingdom of God that the kingdom of God is built on the apostle and the prophet at that very moment the foundations of the chain started to shake and the door started to open. Can somebody shout a hallelujah in the house of the Lord and something similar is about to unfold The man who carries the, the title of a prophet beside his name, Prophet Bernard Blessing, to come and stand beside him. It's a sign that the nations are opening up in the name. Can I ask you to put your hands together? This is a significant moment in the supernatural in the name of Jesus. What does it mean to say, you know, supernatural witnessing? And the Lord told me two things will happen. Number one, there will be, when you witness, uh -huh. whether it's in your office, in your workplace, among your relatives, wherever it might be. You know, even in open crusade ground for our ministers, the Lord will attest oh, yes. ah. that ministry Hallelujah. with supernatural signs. Hey. Witness is just like a courtroom thing. I'll tell you what it is. So I stand up and say, I saw the, 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 the event that unfolded, I'm a witness to them. Now that's called eyewitness or hearsay. That carries some weight, but it's only circumstantial. But you know what seals the case? It's called forensic. Forensic witnessing is you supply materials like a knife, like, like a hair, like, like a DNA. It's called forensic. And the Lord told me, when you stand up and say, I believe Jesus is a healer, it's, it's, a, it's a witnessing. But the next few days, mark my words, the Holy Spirit is going to give the forensic evidence. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Do you want that anointing? When you say Jesus Christ is, is a resurrection, the Holy Ghost is going to give the forensic evidence. That means with signs and wonders and miracles, God is going to confirm the word that you're going to speak if you believe that. Put your hands together, give the Lord a shout of praise in the house. Can somebody tell your neighbor, I'm going to receive some forensic evidence from heaven. 
seek evidence from actual witnesses. <laughs> so can you receive it? You're, you're going to have supernatural witnessing across the globe. That means you will witness Jesus is Lord and the Lord will supply. Signs and wonders and miracles to confirm your word. So over Africa, over Europe, over the Middle East, over Australia, over North and South America, over China, over Russia, over India, over the Arab world, over Pakistan and the nations of the world, we declare supernatural witnessing. Number two, the Lord told me to tell you, it's not just, you know, from inside to the outside. It's going to be from heaven into your inside as well. You know what it means? Get ready. Some of you get ready because we are going to come to the church with some supernatural testimony. Yeah, you didn't hear that. You're going to come and say, this is what I prayed last year. Look what the Lord has done for me this year. Come on, some of you are going to have testimonies, testimonies, testimonies. If you believe that you're going to have minimum one great testimony, which cannot be disputed, that nobody can question it. The integrity of that testimony is such that it will be solid and established in, in, in its supernatural nature. So if you believe that you're going to have a good test, at least one, make some action over here. As, on, somebody make some actions. You're going to come with testimonies. If you believe that, put your hands together. Hey! Hallelujah! 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 Testimony. There's another word for witnessing his testimony. And Pastor Elias comes to Canada and Bethel has got that, you know, Johnson, Bill Johnson speaks about it. The meaning of testimonies. Do it, again. Do it again. So we heard it on, in the song today. Do it again. So every testimony will produce another testimony. So in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, I declare over here, 2020, for the ministry called Tammy, from here to the ends of the earth, the ministry will have a special kind of uh, a characteristic and the nature of our ministry is going to change. It will be the beginning of a ministry, of a move called Supernatural Witnessing. In the name of Jesus, every place that you step in, there will be supernatural testifying of the move of God. Thank you Lord, it's been done. In Jesus' precious name. But I also believe there will be testimonies coming from your houses, coming from your families, coming from your prayer closet. Impossible things are going to make be made possible in the name of Jesus. On the foundations of the church that is based on the scriptures of the apostles and the prophets. I declare hereby absolutely and irrevocably that next year 2020 is a year of supernatural witnessing. If you believe that, make the best noise in the house. Come on, you can do better. When you go, you will have it. The presence of the Lord. Because 
You know what I'm seeing right now? Something like a magnet came and got attached to you. And I'm seeing the word supernatural. Get ready, some of you are going to have angelic visitations. <laughs> and I also declare, yes. as a servant of the living God, get ready for supernatural financial doors to be opened. <laughs> If you're happy, can you give the Lord one more praise? We may not be able to the end of this program, but keep us in your prayers, and I wish you in advance a blessed 2020. Amen. Can you give the best clap offerings? Please be seated. There's going to be a prophetic.